Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. We're going to talk more about pivot tables today. We're going to start where we left off, and if you remember, we had a filter set here and a filter here, and Excel offers a quick and easy way to clear all the filters off so you can start over. And as long as you have a pivot table cell highlighted and you're under the Options tab here, what we're going to do is we're going to clear filters. And it got rid of all the filters for us, and we're back to where we want to start. What I want to talk about today is the ability to have multiple rows and multiple columns in one pivot table. So I'm going to clear out what we have over here, and I'm going to come down, and I want years and the new consult date, which is by month now. And you'll see what it does is I've, the years are in the outer far left column, and the months are in the inner column, or the column on the right. And by dragging and dropping, what you can do is you can show all three January months in 2007, 2008, 2009, and get a total of January. Or if you put j the years on top, now we're going to look at years, January, February, March, April, all the way to December, and then we're going to go to 2008, January, February, March, all the way to December, and scroll all the way down. And it's just a matter of which comes in which order. What works in rows also works in columns. Let's just assume that we want to look at January the way we've got it. And now I want to look at a couple other things over here. Let's look for uh, the location that they're being treated in. So I'll pull that over. Now I've got northeast. Let's hide this for a minute so you can see. Northeast, central, west, south, and a total. And let's assume next that what we want to do is we want to see whether or not we're seeing Medicare or commercial insurance patients there. So we're going to drag insurance over into the columns as well. And again, locations on top. So I'm going to see north, commercial, Medicare, and a total. And then east, commercial, Medicare, and a total. Central, commercial, Medicare, and away it goes. You can easily flip that around by putting insurance on top. And now I've got commercial insurance, north, east, central, west, and south, and a total. And then Medicare, north, east, central, west, south, and a Medicare total, and a grand total. it is quick and easy to move columns from the outer to the inner and back to help you drill down and focus on what you want to look at when you're creating a pivot table. I hope you found that multiple rows and columns trick helpful. Stay tuned. We'll have more next time. Thanks for watching.